Good morning, finally, and welcome to our Facebook Live. <clears throat> it is Wednesday, the 1st of June, 2022, and my name's Jenny McCormack from Gemini Crafts. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator, and I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Sorry for our delayed start this morning. I had to go out um, to my daughter's ponies and um, put them back where they should have been. Um, they made an escape from their field, but to be fair, part of the, well, the fence had come down basically. So um, once the fence is down, it's uh, free reign for them. And they are on restricted grazing at the minute. So, of course, the opportunity to um, have some nice grass from the next field was too good to miss. Can't actually blame them. So, um, Joe's at work. Um, and so what I had to do was just nip down and sort out the fencing first. And, of course, it's all electric fencing. And... Um, if any of you know what's that, what that's like to deal with electric fencing. Anyway, I did get there in the end, got it sorted, managed to get them back where they should have been. So instead of starting at 10, I'm afraid we're starting now, which is um, about 20 to 11 in the morning. So welcome. If you caught me yesterday, you will have known that I went through our retiring list from the January to June catalogue. This is the mini catalogue that supplements our large annual catalogue. And this is the one that has the windmill and the tulips on the front, if you're wondering which one it is. So this retires at the end of June. Some of the stamp sets and products will have gone through to our new annual catalogue and some of the sets will be retired and they won't be seen again in that format. So what I did yesterday during my live was to go through the retiring list um, with you page by page and run through items that are retiring and which are discounted. So quite a lot of the stamp sets are discounted between 10 and 50%. And so if you've got your eyes on anything in particular, it's worth checking out. Obviously the stamp sets that are going through to the new catalog, you will be able to purchase after the end of June. But some of the bundles where you get a discount for buying the stamps and the dies, the discounted price doesn't always get transferred to the new catalogue. So if you're after a bundle and it is going through, just check um, whether that um, discounted amount is applicable. And if that is the case, then save yourself 10% on both of those items by ordering before the end of June. So one of the stamp sets that's retiring is this one called Flowing Flowers. And for those of you that know me, this is a Jenny stamp set. Um, I do love floral stamps and I love stamps that do the work for you. This is a distinctive stamp, so it has a lot of detail inbuilt into the stamp that you really just can't see until it's stamped out. Um, these were two of the samples that I had that I um, picked out from my sample box using this Flowing Flowers. On this one here, I stamped the flowers in the background and then onto a panel. And then on this one here, I stamped it straight onto one of our mini note cards. And I do love sending a card instead of a text. I think it's a lovely sentiment. And if you know me as well, just a note is a popular sentiment that I like to use on cards. It covers all sorts of occasions. And then we've got a nice thank you a nice happy birthday and time for a happy dance as well. I like you, not a sentiment. I do like a lot of people, um, but it's not a sentiment I tend to put on cards. 
Um, so I haven't used that one, but I have used all the others. So I just wanted to show you um, an, so another example using this. Now you can find all of my live videos on YouTube. If you go to Gemini Crafts on YouTube, and if you type in the name of the stamp set in the search bar when you're on my site, then you will be able to find the original ones of these. Thank you. There's my UPS delivery. Um, so if you want to see how these were created, um, you'll be able to find the originals for those. I'm going to um, do something similar, but slightly different. I used blending brushes for these. And today I'm going to use sponge daubers. And so let me create a little bit of space. So good morning. Oh, thank you, Christine. They are lovely, those two. But they, are, um, they can be a little bit cheeky. Well, one can. The other one is very sensible indeed the older one not surprisingly okay so I've got to, I'm going to use my stamparatus because I want to build up the color with the daubers and so what I'm going to do is in cut parts of the stamp in one color stamp it and repeat that until I've got the um, effect that I want so I'm going to use the stamparatus because it means I can do multiple layers just trying to get out of the of the um, reflection that's the word so I'm going to use our standard note card and envelope and we're going to pop this in the corner and I'm going to stamp here on the front side what I might actually do is put a piece of grid paper underneath just going to put a scrap piece here so that it doesn't go onto the um, plate at the back. And I'm going to do this corner. That's what I'm aiming to do. So I'm going to use this stamp here and have it go across the corner like that. So I'm going to pop it on my card. It is going off very slightly, but that's okay. So I hope you're well, Christine and Zana. Thanks for joining us. Okay. So on these colours, I use pinks. So I thought I'd use some purples. So I've got gorgeous grape and a pinky purple, which is fresh freesia. So that's what I'm going to use to ink up the stamp. And let's pop this one underneath. Just going to lift that light up a little bit. I'm hoping it's not reflecting too much. Hi Scylla. Thanks for joining us. Lovely to see you yesterday. Okay. So just going to grab another scrap piece here and I'm going to do the main bit of the flower first I'm going to use gorgeous great the deeper one for this center and then fresh fissure for the edges so I've got a lighter version and then I've got mango melody that I might use for these little dots we'll see so let's do the center and I've got an assortment of sponge daubers. Hopefully in reasonable colours. So I know this is right on the left hand side of right on the left hand side of your screen. On the left hand side of your screen. Mm -hmm. So I'm just highlighting that centre. And what you can do, obviously, with the stamparatus is just repeat. Um, the layers which is what I'm going to do so I'm going to pop that layer down first and build it up now it is useful when you're doing this to have the picture of the flower in front of you so you know which bits you need to ink up you could of course stamp the whole thing in 
just one or two colours but I just want to build this up so you can see how that is appearing I know it's a long way away from you at the minute as it builds up I'll lift it so you can see it a little bit better okay so there I've got my sort of gorgeous grape center and now I'm going to use some fresh freesia around the edges so I hope everybody is well this lovely morning it was beautifully sunny and hot um, when I was out and about and now it's overcast okay so I'm I hope you can see that I'm just going over the edge of the flower and I haven't cleaned off the center I could do but the to be honest the ink will come off that anyway in time so I'm just inking that up using the sponge dauber on my finger so when I did this original design I used blending brushes so I thought I would have a change and use this so there we go so that's that colors really coming through now now my, my sponge daubers weren't clean to start with so it's probably not an exact fresh freesia. Let's pick up some more of that ink. There we go. And the magnet's holding the card in place so that it doesn't move too much. There we go. So that's really beginning to come together. I think actually I might just stick with this fresh freesia for those little bits as well. I was going to use yellow but I quite like this whole pink effect and there's some green leaves here so the bit I'm doing now if I turn this in that direction is I've done this main flower doing these little bits here. Oh how funny <laughs> they do go well don't they? And then I'll add in the leaves after. So I hope you can see that if I just bring that up to the screen a little bit better. Yeah, that's very too bright, actually. It's, um, it's just a slightly different look, isn't it? So just add a little bit of that. So you can do you know as much or as little as you want so that's all beginning to come together now let's add our greenery so I've got uh, granny apple green but you could use any any green um, I bet I haven't got a green door but though I really need to clean my daubers they do get stained and then um, but you can wash them you can rinse them in some just wash it gentle washing up liquid in the sink I have been known to put them in a little bag and put them in the washing machine okay so just adding this obviously my granny apple green is very light and remember you are transferring from the ink to the sponge from the sponge to the card so you will get a much lighter effect there we go can you see that coming through and I'm just going to lift this up a little bit better so you can see it there we go so just adding some more green you could also use um, stamp and write markers if you wanted to for a slightly more distinct um, impression rather than using daubers but I like the softness of the daubers but it does take a little bit longer of course 
and this is definitely one I recommend with the Stamparata so you can build it up There we go. I'm just going to add just a little bit more of that green. So, so this is called Flowing Flowers. And it was available as of this morning. Obviously, a lot of the retiring items, especially if they're discounted or popular items, will sell quickly. So if it's on your wish list, I would say don't delay. Okay, let's have a look at that. Lift my, my magnet off. So there we've got our flower on the bottom right hand side of our card. I think what I might do is I might use the um trying to think whether I'm going to put the little flower on top uh, so do the opposite of that basically which shows top right bottom left and I've got this bottom right I could do one top left and a sentiment in the middle I think I'm going to do that so I think what I'm going to do is switch this round so that it's in the middle to be easier for you and I to see. Okay, I'm going to put my magnet back down to hold it in place. Take this one off because I finished with it. Now, if I wanted to do a whole series of these, I could just leave this on the plate and just turn the plate round. But I'm just going to do the one and let's have a look. Have this one part the way off, or this one, yeah, I think that one all the way. So it's different, uh, stamp artist is different to using blocks because you place the stamp onto the card and then add the block. And people find that quite confusing because they want to start by putting it on the block and then wonder why it's not in the right place on the card. It's one of those really um, psychological things. If you've been stamping for a long time, especially, um, that that's the temptation is to try and put it on the block. But we want it actually on the card itself. And I've got it just about on that edge facing down so that will pick it up again okay and I'm just going to use I think I'm just going to use if I've got this right a little bit of that gorgeous grape in the centers so I'm going to do all three of those main flowers Okay, like that. So I hope everybody is keeping well. And for those in the UK, we have our Jubilee weekend coming up. And I wonder if um, any ladies from Australia, if you're watching, whether you whether you're celebrating that too as part of the Commonwealth, so I'd be interested to know. Okay, let's put a little bit more gorgeous grape than I expected. Never mind. Okay, just going to wipe that like so and add. Um, more fresh freesia around the edges and we've got this sort of these little um, like petals going on there we go there we go I 
I was very pleased to see the UPS man arrive today because obviously UPS had ta were taking into account um, the bank holidays. So when they had a parcel on its way from the end of last week, it said, oh, it was going to be here next Monday. But it's come through today and that's five days from date of ordering including the weekend so that's always good to know it can be a little bit hit and miss with everything else going on um, but if you are ordering then ordering at the moment is quite swift but do bear in mind we now have <laughs> Thursday and Friday as bank holidays okay let's have a look at that so I've got my little panel down here in those colours and I've mimicked the colours up here. I haven't added in any green because these are only florals. I could add in a little bit of green if I had a separate um, leaf stamp. I could add that in if I want to. Um, I'm going to add in my wording now. So let's hop that out of the way. And I've got my favourite just a note. I've got a nice thank you that I think would fit in there quite nicely. But sending a card instead of a text, I do also like. And that would fit there, I think, quite nicely. And it sort of links these two up. So I'm going to use espresso, of course, for that. Let's cover these up. So my focus um, this week will be on all, all the retiring, uh, on retiring items, not all of them, um, just to give you uh, another opportunity to see them. So if you're thinking about them, it might give you an idea whether that's something you do or maybe you don't want. Okay, just want to make sure this is really okay. That will go do good. So I'm just inking this up at the bottom because I seem to have got more ink down there. Looks like that one's in need of a refill. glasses off so I can see what I'm doing and I'm hoping I've got that straight I wasn't really looking <laughs> there we go Whew. so there we have it sending a card instead of a text and then you could obviously add a thank you on the inside of that if you want to. So let's fold that up. And my bone folders are all in the bag with my class. So I had a class yesterday. That was the last um, in-person class for the um, class in a box for May uh, with the masculine cards. It went really well. Ladies did a great job. Okay, so I think all this needs um, to finish it off is a little bit of bling and that will be done. Let me grab that, hopefully. I've got some here and I can really do with some pinky ones in there or just some plain. So I've got some, I do like these iridescent ones what's happened here go okay. so these are iridescent rhinestones and they just pick out and reflect the color so there's a little bit of pink in there if you can see that just really pretty so let's pop those on and Pokey tool is in the other one, of course. <laughs> oh, what 
that's me use. I'll just use a craft knife. Okay, so you could put something in the centre, so here if you wanted to. I think I'm going to just use these ones here. One, two, and three, like so. So there's my finished card, just really subtle. I just really like the way that this stamps out. As I say, you could do it in a single colour as well, but um, I do love using daubers and blending brushes for this technique. You could also, as I say, use stamp and write markers and colour it with markers so you get a more concentrated ink. Uh, but I like the softness of this one. OK, so that is it. Um, as I say, apologies again for being late this morning. Um, I will probably add another of these, um, this on the inside. And I will add one to the envelope just to finish that off. So thank you so much for joining me. That is Flowing Flowers. It's on offer now at 2160 instead of 24. Um, and that's while stocks last. And I'll be ordering on a regular basis during the retiring period. If anybody ordered from me yesterday um, to make sure they got what they wanted, I place the order um, just after 11 and everything that everybody wanted was still in stock. So just to let you know. So there we go. Sending a card instead of a text. Love it. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I think it's time for me to have a cup of coffee and um, relax for five minutes before I get on with the rest of the day. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Do take care and enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, um, depending on what time you're watching this and whether you were watching live or on replay. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will be back tomorrow, Thursday. Um, I know it's bank holiday here, so what I might do is do our live in the morning tomorrow rather than the evening. Um, so that will be 10 a.m. tomorrow. Hope you can join me. Take care now. Cheerio.